Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my talk. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about how to unleash your features. Um, let me dive right into the implementation. So what is a feature toggle? Feature toggle is essentially a branch in your code asking if this feature is enabled, then do this, otherwise do that. That is essentially what a feature toggle is. But what's the use cases of using a feature toggle? So I want to start with a simple example. Um, I work on a project called OpenShift Cluster Manager where we install a lot of OpenShift clusters. And sometimes these clusters may break, they may get into some weird state, and they end up in an, an error state. And what we wanted to do was we wanted the system to collect any piece of information it can and then report it uh, as a JIRA ticket so we can track it. We'll have all the information available uh, on JIRA uh, for investigation and, and have that uh, automated process running. Um, but when I started working on this feature, I thought to myself, well, um, there's kind of a risk with introducing this feature. Uh, for once, this um, gathering of these pieces of information, it may cause some performance issue. Um, we're talking about the service that is now supposed to communicate with another system, uh, whether it's the cluster itself to get information from the cluster, whether it's um, talking to Jira and communicate with that system, add all these information uh, pieces as attachments. It might break, it might fail. So I was kind of concerned with um, how much risk am I going to introduce to the system just with having this background process uh, running around uh, in my service. So um, I thought, well, how can I reduce the risk of introducing this? And um, one of the things that I thought was, let's see, uh, let's try to think of um, introducing this um, with some activation strategy. Um, I want first, I want the developers and the QE team or the QA team to be able to test that feature uh, with just a small amount of clusters just to see how it behaves, to see that tickets are opened uh, on a timely manner, um, that the system are, is able to collect all these pieces of information from the cluster and have it attached to that Jira ticket. And once I have enough confidence that the flow is working, I want to see some feedback. I want to see some customers actually um, going through that flow and see um, did I actually increase the response time? Um, do I catch issues earlier than uh, I could have caught them uh, without this solution? And once I gain enough confidence that everything is working and there's no performance penalty with this solution, I can open it up for everyone and eventually remove that feature toggling uh, from the code itself. Um, so there's many use cases for using feature toggles, and this is just one of them. So testing with just a small amount of users is one use case. Of course, I'll need to collect some feedback from customers or use users, um, and it doesn't matter if uh, th these are external customers or QA team uh, or internal developers. Um, so that's one use case. One use case uh, would be to test with a small amount of uh, capacity. So sometimes I don't really care who are the users that this feature will be enabled for them. I care more about how much of the users will get exposed to that feature because I want to monitor the system. I want to see that it can handle the load and I can gradually open it up more and more uh, for more users and more capacity and once I make sure that the system can handle it or not and do the right tweaking, I can um, remove the toggle itself. Uh, there's also A-B testing, of course. I can test different paths and collect analytics information and decide which path is the best one to uh, proceed with. And uh, a kill switch is, is a great example. So um, I can test my feature, I can have the QA team uh, assure me that it's working as expected, I can have some customers using it, or every, everyone can use it, but at some point there might be a surge uh, or like a huge amount of requests coming, me, coming in and then it may break the system. I, I should have a way of hitting some switch to kill that feature and protect the system 
from uh, any incident. And sometimes it's not the system itself. It may affect every system that the system is talking with. So uh, having a kill switch uh, is a very powerful tool there. Of course, it also uh, can be useful as a, an alternative for canary deployment. With uh, canary deployment, you take your code, you deploy it in a very controlled and, and uh, safe environment, you test it, and uh, once you're sure it's uh, working as expected, you deploy it to more pods. But with feature toggles, it's kind of an alternative way of doing it. You just deploy the functionality to the entire system, but it's disabled. You can enable it at runtime on your own uh, time window when you're uh, available, when you have everyone on board that you need them to be, and then uh, you can test the feature, and then you can switch it, switch it off when you need to um, at any point. Um, I'd like to sh talk to you about Unleash. Um, so Unleash is uh, a management system for feature toggles or feature flags. Um, it's open source project. It's available on GitHub. Um, we're using it uh, for a while now. And the way it works is that the user um, is using your software, uh, whether they are uh, using the CLI or making an API call to your service. Um, they may have been uh, using the UI itself. Somewhere in, in your code, there's going to be that feature toggling asking, is this feature is enabled? And with using Unleash, the flow will actually make in an API call to the Unleash system asking, is this feature is enabled? And providing some context, like uh, some user information, so any kind of context that is uh, important to make that decision. And then Unleash will respond with a yes or no, and then your code will be performing that branching according to their response. Now, there's several activation strategies with Unleash. Um, the basic one would be the one that you would probably expect it to have, which is either on or off. The feature can be disabled or enabled. There's um, some user identification uh, activation strategy. So you can pick uh, activating something per user. It can be per session ID or IP address. Um, there's also the gradual rollout uh, option. So I can say, uh, please open it up just for 30% uh, of the request or 40% of the request. Uh, it doesn't matter to who. Um, and then open it up gradually as I see uh, uh, as, as needed. And the um, interesting part is that you can also extend it by writing your own custom strategy. So we are using that feature, um, and we are actually uh, implementing a custom strategy which uh, is organization-based. So we pick an organization, like a specific customer, that they are very interested in uh, trying out this new feature, this new functionality. We've opened it up just for them, just to play with, get their feedback, and then once we've uh, made all the adjustment, we can proceed and open it up for more and more customers. So how do you start with Unleash? Um, you can install and run the binary itself. You can download it. There's also a hosted option. Um, once you run it, you log into the system, you create a, a toggle, and you pick a, uh, an activation strategy for it. Now, um, the other part you need to do is integrate with your code. So you can use one of the available SDKs that Unleash has. It has uh, several SDKs in different languages. Um, if you're using a different language, it, then you can just make an API call to the Unleash system. Um, and that will essentially be uh, asking Unleash if this feature is enabled or not. So how does it look like? Um, this is how the uh, admin console of Unleash looks like. When you log into it, you uh, see a list of uh, available feature toggles. These are uh, features toggle, uh, feature toggles that we've created. There's also the uh, new feature toggle button that I've mentioned. And if I'm going to uh, dive into one of the feature toggles, I will see something like this. So on the upper part, uh, upper part there's the uh, feature name. Um, I can see the feature is active. I see a description of the feature over here. And I see if it's uh, enabled or disabled. Um, and on that main part, I see the activation strategy. Um, this specific feature is enabled just for a couple of organizations. One of them is the development uh, organization. The other one is the QA organization. So we are testing how will the system behave if we are 
bypassing uh, the limitation of uh, number of compute nodes. We want to make sure that the system can handle it. We want to make sure everything works as expected. And then once we have uh, gained confidence, then we can open it up for everyone. Uh, if I'll go into the metrics tab of uh, Unleash Future, I'll see uh, more data about the exposure rate. So I, see, uh, I can see how much request got in to Unleash, asking it if this feature is enabled or not. I can see how many requests got uh, rejected or uh, accepted. Um, I can see it over a different period of times, uh, 48 hours, 24 hours, and um, et cetera. There's also event logs, so it's uh, kind of uh, important if I want to see, uh, for example, my monitoring uh, tells me that there's some uh, performance issue. If I'll go into Unleash, I might see uh, someone enable some feature, uh, like in the last hour, I can maybe correlate issues with that. Um, so that's also important for auditing. Um, I'll just sum summarize uh, this presentation. So uh, using feature toggles is a great way to test your product and uh, have it stable uh, as a service, of course. Uh, Unleash is a great system to manage your feature toggles and you can also implement your own strategies according to your own product needs and your own uh, business needs. Um, and I'll take any questions now. It's an open source project. Oh, sorry. Uh, the question was, is Unleash uh, a, an open source project maintained by me or the team? Uh, no, it's not. It's open source, completely not owned by Red Hat. Any other questions? Yeah. Uh, what is the overhead for using Unleash if I want to add this new feature? So uh, you need to consider that, um, sorry, repeating the question. The question was how much overhead um, is there with using Unleash? So you need to consider that every time your code will be asking if this feature is enabled, it's gonna do another API call. Now, of course, there's some penalty for that. You may cache the results. You, you can uh, introduce that uh, into Unleash client itself. Um, and then there's also, um, you need to be aware of that when you hit the switch on Unleash, it takes roughly, uh, f I think, three to five seconds until it syncs with all the clients. So, um, yeah, there's a performance penalty there uh, that you need to be aware of. Any other questions? What will happen if the Unleash is not accessible by the system network? Gr great question. So, every time you pick, uh, you, you sorry. <laughs> The question was, what happens if Unleash is not available? So first of all, you, obviously, you, you should probably pick uh, an, a good SLA for uh, the Unleash system. Um, but if it's not available, then you're going to need to uh, set up a default for every feature. So um, whether it's on or off, it's your decision. But um, yeah, you need to pick one, one option, yeah. There's no other question, and I'm done. Thank you. <laughs>